appreciate all of you coming. Thanks for joining us here in White Plains as we uh, launch the RC and the RCF. These are two coupes that we think are going to have great significance to uh, the Lexus brand, so we're happy to share them with you. So let's start with the RCF. So we felt like an entry into the premium coupe segment was really a great place for us to make a statement and to make a loud and bold statement in particular. And we think that the uh, RCF is really among the loudest, sweetest, boldest sounds that the uh, Lexus brand has ever produced, I hope you'll agree. The RCF's aggressive design proclaims the car's performance-focused uh, mission at first glance. The coupe's been engineered from the asphalt up to deliver absolutely thrilling performance. And we think that RCF is not the least bit bashful about being very driver-centric, about being built to thrill, and it carves out its own niche in a segment that includes, of course, some of the world's finest mass-produced sports cars. These are vehicles you're familiar with, the BMW M4, the Audi RS5, and of course the Benz C63 AMG. So this is a small but highly specialized performance car fraternity. It makes up about 6% of the larger coupe segment. But despite this very low volume, these niche products are very effective brand amplifiers. They highlight each car maker's engineering design, their uh, uh, performance car prowess, and their overall technical these coupes help to sell magazines, they drive enthusiasts to uh, websites, and they create a halo image for each of their brands. For us, the image that the V8 car RCF creates has a ripple effect, we think, across our entire showroom, beginning with the RC350 and extending to other F-Sport vehicles. Now the RCF reinforces the F-brand ethos, and that is that it's a sports car that's fun to drive, for any driver, regardless of their skill level. The accessibility of this performance will define the F-brand identity as we go forward with that. Now as a full-fledged F model, the RCF is equipped with dedicated performance technology. It starts with the highly developed 5-liter V8 that is packed full of exotic metals, it delivers 467 horsepower. It continues with the rear-wheel drive chassis that's tuned for balance, and then, of course, an available torque vectoring rear differential, the execution of which is an industry first on RCF. Now, the RCF will boost the F brand with track performance credibility, which is further reinforced by the brand's return to racing that's begun with the GT500 car now in Japan, and it'll soon continue with the RCF GT3 that we showed earlier this year at the Geneva Motor Show. Now the RCF will strike a chord with a group of initiated consumers. These are enthusiasts who want a memorable vehicle with a very impressive spec sheet. They want a coupe with authentic, dynamic capabilities that align with their expectations. Very simply put, the RCF buyer is looking for a vehicle that communicates with the subtlety of a sledgehammer to the senses, connecting through design aesthetic, through tactile response, through forceful acceleration, and of course, all the while with the glorious howl of the V8 soundtrack. Now, similar to the segment average, we do expect that the RCF car is going to be fairly young. We think that they will skew heavily male, and of course, they will be fairly affluent. So keep that all in mind for RCF, and now let's switch gears to the RC350 for a few minutes. So while the RCF, with its V8 engine, satisfies the craving of a real performance enthusiast, the RC350 and the F-Sport model meet the needs of a much broader audience and really driven by the overall natural appeal of coupe imagery. So the typical RC buyer is also going to be relatively aligned with the segment, maybe a little bit younger. And we think that the broad appeal of the RC350 is going to firmly re-establish Lexus in the luxury coupe segment. It'll help to propel the brand even further forward in terms of both design and performance image. And the RC350 will compete against the non-performance variants of the coupes that I mentioned a few minutes ago. Now, as you know, some brands have two-door versions of their sedans, and other brands create dedicated coupe models. So I want to be really clear that the RC350 is a dedicated coupe. It's uniquely engineered for its mission in the Lexus lineup. The RC platform takes the very wide stance that we get from our GS. It crosses that with a nimble length and wheelbase that's a little bit more akin to our smaller IS. And we find that that combination is, uh, offers very stable, confident, predictable, and very engaging driving dynamics for the driver. Now the RC250 and RC250 F-Sport are both equipped with a 306 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6, 
and both are served through a paddle shifted sequential automatic transmission. Now, some of you may know that the F Sport line in general has been very successful for Lexus. In particular, in our IS lineup, it accounts for about 50% of our business. And F Sport models overall in our lineup typically draw in consumers who are between 5 and 12 years younger than the non F Sport equivalent model. So, we do expect that the RC350 F Sport is going to build on this overall F Sport momentum that we see growing in our product line. So, let's talk about F Sport. F Sport adds sport mode steering, adaptive variable suspension with available rear wheel steer, it adds a more impactful front fascia, and of course the LFA derived interior gauges. And all of this is intended to help deliver a more con uh, connected and engaging driving experience. Now, we did a lot of research for the RC, and our research validated that this coupe is really well equipped to fulfill its mission as a change agent for the Lexus brand. So in much the same way that the IS has helped move our brand, and we expect that the coming NX will soon help the Lexus brand move along, these cars really evolve Lexus as we prepare for the next generation of luxury buyers. Now in particular, our research confirmed three things. Number one, that both the RC and the RCF exterior designs captivate at first sight. There's no way. Immediately when people see it, they're drawn in. It elicits a very emotional response from consumers. Second, that potential owners view the impactful styling of the RC and the RCF as a welcome departure from not only from the category, but for Lexus as well. And then finally, the visual appeal of the vehicle makes it capable of attracting intenders who might not have otherwise considered Lexus in the past. Now for both RC and RCF, we expect about 50% of the buyers to be new to the Lexus brand. In the case of RC350, we think a significant number will be moving up from non-luxury brands. But of course, for the more expensive RCF, we think most of those buyers will come to us from other luxury makes. Now, the RC350 drivers look to their vehicles to signal to others that they're stylish, that they're successful, and of course, that they're driving a vehicle that is as responsive as it is expressive. They really want to forge their own fast lane. If we build on that RC350 psychology and consider the V8 RCF buyer, they want more genuine performance that truly pays off on this very high vehicle image. In terms of sales volume, we're looking at about 15,000 units a year for the RC350, and we'll add to that about 2,500 more for the RCF. And we do have pricing for you on both cars. The RC350 is going to start at 42,790, and the RCF at 62. 